<laughs> oh god. Uh, how do I say this without hurting you? We are screwed. All right, so jumping right into this, first up for the day, story numero uno, we're going to talk about how Xbox 360 games will no longer be part of Xbox games with gold in October because Microsoft thinks it's not for poor people. Just kidding! We're talking about the iPhone 14, of course. So grab yourself a nice, hot, steamy cup of depresso, because this is not going to be good news. So here's the dildo. I'm going to give it to you straight. This phone... These phones, plural, uh, they're going to be expensive. They're already expensive. I mean more expensive. Now, to be fair, this is sort of an everybody problem, but this is not an everybody show now, is it? What's going on is Apple has to pay more because their main chip supplier, TSMC, has to pay more. See, one of TSMC's main material providers, the Japanese chemicals firm, Shawa, 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 Shawa Denko KK. Well, okay, uh... I'm very sorry about what just happened. Anyway, they're dealing with the rising cost of raw materials, which is not great. We've been talking about Apple having to potentially cut their orders by 10% for the iPhone 14. We talked about this in the last episode, and that's despite the expected higher demand. But even that's not a problem that will end up affecting everyone. This, though would end up affecting anybody with a wallet and good looks. <laughs> so you're fine. This is worse, if you didn't catch that. This is even worse than them having to cut orders because if the price of raw materials goes up, then the price of components goes up. And if the price of components goes up, the price of iPhone goes up. Because if Apple have to pay more, you have to pay more. You feel me? Even worse yet, the CEO of Shawodenko KK, again, very sorry, he says that he does not expect this situation to get better until at least 2023. Emphasis on the at least part. Translation? It's over. We are screwed. Out of all companies, Apple has been such a trooper during the chip shortage. For a minute, it seemed like they were unaffected, bulletproof. It's only sort of recently to where things are getting pretty tight. So I guess the question goes to you. If Apple ends up having to charge more for the iPhone 14 this year, will you pay it? Better yet, here's an even harder thought experiment. If it came down to it, how much would you pay for an iPhone 14 Pro? Like, what's the absolute highest you would go? Because I don't know, with the prices of these phones going up, you might better be served by spending your money on today's sponsor. Listen, I know you're making the big bucks now. Good for you. Uh, you shouldn't be spending it on an iPhone, though, and you definitely shouldn't be investing it in the traditional stock market. That's why this episode is sponsored by Masterworks.io. Masterworks gives everyone, not just high rollers, the chance to invest in famous Picasso, Monet, and Banksy paintings. Why art? Well, art has outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2021 and has almost no correlation with stocks. But is it legit? Yes, of course. Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings backed up with the same Securities and Exchange Commission as public offerings. Is anyone doing it? Yes to that too. Over 300,000 investors have already signed up. And yes, there is a wait list, but you can skip it with our special link. Just go to masterworks.art slash FPT to get started today. And of course, a huge thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, so story numero lasto, last up for the day. We got to talk about Apple Watch again, because after I already had the last episode completed, but before I actually uploaded it, because that's my luck and I hate myself, this news came out about Apple Watch Series 8. Mmm, bigger. <sighs> I guess we're gonna just keep 
doing that, huh? This is exactly what they did last year. They didn't have a new chip or a new anything really so they just went yeah but what if bigger and now according to display analyst ross young who's typically super accurate we are getting a bigger apple watch again but this time it's a bit different see instead of increasing the size of one of the existing models now apple plans to add a third this new larger apple watch will have a screen size that measures at 1.99 inches diagonally that's as big as my dick oh wait this is about a five percent increase over the current largest size which measures at 1.901 inches on top of that to back all of this up Jeff Poo, via an investor's note seen by Mac Rumors, claimed that Luxshare will be the sole supplier for a quote, high end two inch Apple Watch, which seems like this almost immediately lines up with Ross Young's report. We have been hearing of a more rugged Apple Watch coming this year. So really, we're gonna end up with four new Apple Watch models. The Apple Watch SE, a 41 millimeter and 45 millimeter series eight per huge, and then an even larger Apple Watch Pro or whatever they call it, it's something ridiculous. Hmm, uh, does this new Pro or rugged Apple Watch, uh, does it come with flat sides? Asking for a friend.